Good evening, good evening guys. Greetings from Seoul, South Korea. We've got an exciting episode for you tonight because we're going to be trying more Korean barbecue. We've been feasting on Korean barbecue on this trip, but we've yet to try galbi, marinated Korean beef. Afterwards, we're going to go to the Cheonggyecheon, a really popular place to go for a walk at night along a nice stream in kind of downtown old Seoul. Food and beautiful attractions in Seoul. Let's go do it. Alright guys, so the delicious Galbi has arrived and as you can see, it's come in a really cool order. Like basically they serve it kind of butcher style, like have a butcher who just prepares the plates. You can see our orders here. We have two orders of the Galbi. I'm going to put one on the grill. David's going to put the other one. Not entirely sure what this is. Oh, it's a mushroom. Look at that. So what we're going to do is basically just grab it with these tongs. You can see that there's a big bone here. The rest of this beef has been marinated in like kind of a sweet soy sauce. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit, if I can. There we go, and plop it right down, just like that. So the idea is for us to cook it, to flip it enough times. When it's been cooked enough, we cut it into strips, and then we just have it cooking even more, like that. For the time being, it needs to be cooked a little bit before we cut it. So that is step one. Big is good, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Korean barbecue is unrivaled by any other place. It's just a masterpiece. Look, we've got the, the meat cooking here on the sides. Actually, what happened is we had some help. We had someone come over and help cut up the pieces for us. Really brilliant how he cooked it. He knew just exactly how to do it. And when it was done cooking on the middle part of the grill, he's moved everything to the perimeter because there's obviously less heat. And yeah, the meat is ready to go. So we've got all kinds of side dishes to go along with this, which are the banchan. We've got beer, we've got soup. It's just time to dig in. So I'm gonna start off by having some of the jigge, the soup. I'm taking a look at that soybean soup over here. Oh, that looks good. Actually, it has meat in it too. Tofu, piping hot. Steam is coming off of it like crazy. I'm gonna try a piece of the meat. Mmm, super tasty. Another broth. Oh yeah, that's a wonderful rich soybean broth with Dwayne John Jigge. I love that. Salty, rich in flavor. That's spicy, so I'm gonna have a glass of beer. I've had Haidi a few times. It serves me well. This is the extra cold variety. I love cold beer when I'm having my Korean barbecue. Mmm, delicious, man. Oh wow, no idea what this is. Jeez, it's huge. Let's try that. Mmm, <laughs> super crunchy. I think it's a giant radish that has gochujang kind of pepper on it. The late onset was spice. Okay, moving on. Again, I haven't seen this as a side dish. Like, this is a bit more of an upscale restaurant, so we're having side dishes that I'm not used to. Mm. It tastes like dried fish with cucumber, onion, and a mayo dressing. Interesting. Oh, wow, this is crab. Dude, look at this. I'm just gonna suck it out. Mmm, mmm, oh yeah, so soft, so tender. Thick, thick red sauce, sweet, spicy. Mmm, mmm. These are premium side dishes. This is so much better than what you normally get with the banchan. Like, this is fancy, fancy stuff. Wow, two more things to try before I get to the star of the show. We've got this over here, just some, some greens. Mm. I should also mention at this restaurant, there's a cool section where you can get more of this banchan, some additional greens. For instance, I picked up all of this assortment of leaves and peppers to use for the meat. And you can also get ice cream for dessert. So if there's a little bit of room, I might try some ice cream. But I mean, my belly's getting big here in Korea, so <laughs> probably don't need it. Last one to try, that's going to be a white radish cold soup. Mm. Super refreshing. If you're having something spicy and want to reset your palate, this is the one. Time for the star of the show. This is the Golbi. Marinated Korean beef. Look how thick that is. It's amazing. I'm going to dip it into the Samjang. 
the world's best sauce, red pepper, fermented soybean paste. Time for a bite. Oh my god. Game over. Unbelievably tender, rich. It's got such a delicious soy sauce. And then to mix it with the samjang, tastes incredible. Now we have one mushroom meat, it's a little bit charred. I'm gonna try that. Mmm. It's been cooked in such a way that it's crispy on the outside, but it's retained its juices. Super tasty. Bombe. Bombe. Wow. And last but not least, we're gonna do a proper bite with a piece of lettuce. Grabbing my lettuce, I've got this piece of beef here that's been marinating in the sauce with this onion. Just grabbing a little bit like this. So I've got some onion, garlic to put on here, and of course, I need a little samjang. No Korean barbecue is complete without the samjang sauce. Just like that, one incredible delicious bite. Rolling that up. Mmm. As good as Sam Gupsal is, Golby is even better. This marinated cream beef is just the best. So amazing. And to think we have so much more to eat, I'm in my happy place right now. Delicious Korean barbecue, guys, here in Seoul, South Korea. All right, Sam, so the last thing to cook are the ribs. Here's mine. Wow. Ooh, it's still really hot. As you can see, there's meat, but there's also a lot of fat. Very burnt, not like too much, you know, just enough for us to eat it. Nice and crispy. Oh, I was gonna dive in. This was like a little overly cooked, a little bit, but it's delicious. And I like how the rib is, it's like a big rib. Usually my beef ribs aren't this big. This must have been a big cow. Oh wow, so good. I almost never eat beef ribs. They're always like pork ribs. This is amazing. I love this barbecue. So you've tried a lot of barbecue now in Korea. Oh man, that was the best. Best of the best. It was just so good, man. It like just melts in my mouth. But it really was phenomenal. Korean barbecue is something unreal. <laughs> so different from like American barbecue, Texas barbecue, Florida barbecue. That is more like with sauces on a grill. This is very different. This is like really delicious beef or pork. You know, they marinate it. They put it on this amazing little grill in front of you. Yep. Cook it and you eat it with lettuce and, a and sauces, right? Yeah. So good. And now we got a cab to catch. We're gonna go to Chungajun. Chungajun, let's go. Chungajun. All right, so we've arrived here at the Chungajun. We took a little cab over. And yeah, it's basically a stream. You've got two little boardwalks on each side and a few stepping stones to skip across. You ready to go check it out? Ready. Let's do it. So something interesting about the Cheonggyecheon is I actually came here when they were reclaiming this project. When they were doing this, I can't remember how long ago it was. It's probably like 10 years ago. One of the mayors decided, you know, let's try to make Seoul a bit more accessible, a bit more pedestrian friendly. And they reclaimed this project. And now it's like a super popular area in Seoul, especially when I mean, you see people going for strolls at night. It's even more popular by day. You see a lot of office workers using it and a lot of couples come here too. Don't try this at home, kids. From one side to the next. Feels like an oasis in the middle of a city. Yeah. This is exactly what it feels like. Right here, as you can see, lots of plant life. And they really did a good job with the landscaping here. There are also like benches, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can sit down, relax. Yeah. And you're in the middle of the city. Where's the traffic? I don't hear any cars right now. Nothing. It's crazy, man. It's right? like, it doesn't feel like you're in downtown Seoul. I mean, dude, it feels very peaceful. Yeah. Yeah, it must be really nice to come here for morning walks too. And the oxygen is pretty good here as well. Yeah. You can feel that. All, nice all. breeze too. Well guys, that Galbi feast was just like Korean barbecue to the max. I absolutely loved it. It's a feast to feast. If you come to Korea, if you come to Seoul especially, you've got to try all the Korean barbecue. Of course, some galbi. You've got to try some gapsal. All of them, man. The galbi, galbi jim. They're all just amazing. It was such a nice place to finish off here in the Cheonggyecheon. Just so peaceful, so quiet, so lush, so green. Even at night, I think it's even quieter. What a great day back in Seoul. To come from Busan to be back in Seoul. I'm glad that we had a bit of a slower pace today. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below, subscribe to both of us. David's been here, Samuel and Audrey. We'll have more episodes from Seoul coming soon.